Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at how to use Facebook ads library to maximize 10 times your ads. So the first thing you do to use the Facebook ads library is that you go to your Facebook page, the search bar, and you type Facebook ads library. Facebook ad, ad library provides a wealth of information about your competitors' Facebook ad campaigns. Advertisers know how tough online competition can be. So, use Facebook ad library to see the ads running and where the ads are being shown and also how they approach their messaging. So this is how Facebook Ads Library is. This is a tool designed to promote transparency and allow users to access information about the ads they see every day. So these are some ad campaigns on, on the Facebook Ad Library. You can see the names of the Facebook pages, the amount spent on ads, and the number of ads that are currently being run. Also, it shows you the spending by location. So you can see for marketers, the Facebook ad library offers a unique way to improve your ad campaigns. By studying Facebook ads that are performing well, you can learn how to make your own ads more effective. Ad library contains all active ads running across Facebook. You can view ads about social issues, elections, politics, and even the community. You can search ads by page name or keyword, or filter by country, page name, status, disclaimers, and the rest. So let's take a look at this ad campaign. So it's showing us 18 results of ads that have been launched on this website. It shows us the ads that are active and the ads that are not active. It's also showing us that this ad, this page is connected to Instagram. If you look at some of the ads, like this one showing us 9th of March to 10th March, that was when the ad was launched. This one is also active. It started on March 2023. You can see the performance. Sorry, I'm so fast. Later, you can just take your time and slow down and study, study it properly. I don't want this video to be too long. So this page has a lot of ad campaigns that has been launched and also the ones that are actually active. You can see the impression shows us one million. The platform is on Facebook and Instagram, the categories. Now, if we go to the about, this is what it shows us. These are the details on the about. It shows us the date the page was created, the total spend, the total spent on ads, the recent spent on ads. So, if you go to the audience, it also gives us the location of the audience, the age of the audience, gender, detailed and um, target look um, Detailed targeting language and the other information about where your followers or where your ad campaign has reached. So you can see the details and the kind the number of people following, the male and the female, the lookalike audience. So this is a, a very comprehensive, a very comprehensive analysis of any ad you want to you want to analyze all you need to do is just come to the ad facebook ad library and you'll get all the information you need for you to be able to set up your own campaign so we are going to go further with the ad category. This ad is located in Nigeria. Ad category, and then we'll just 
see the other details that we can analyze. digital markets so this is these are what comes up so we'll just take a look at the first page the first ad campaign let's look at the impressions or maybe the, the demographic information of the page so you're showing us the ad campaign zero results it's not running any ad at the moment and it's showing us the about of the advertiser the page transparency the page accounts page history and the organizations that manage this page so the ad information of this account is practically empty practically empty so let's just go and check digital marketing institutes digital marketing So this is what comes up. This is how the page looks like. It shows us that this ad is active and it was launched in May 2023. It's currently running on Instagram and on Facebook. So this is the page details. And the primary location for this page is Nigeria. So you go further to, to, to the about the ad. This is what it shows us. More information. A global digital marketing institute. And it shows us also the page ID. So this is all about the analysis of this page. So let's do, for example, go to Benin Republic. Let's search for an ad in Benin Republic. So you just click on Benin Republic. You click on all ads and apply. And then you go on and search for the topic. So let's just do banks. So when, when we search for banks, these are what pops up. From the location Benin Republic, these are what pops up. It shows us 220 results. This one, this ad is being launched in May 2000. This ads showing up here rather are being launched in May 2023, and most of them are active. Also, they are running on Facebook and on Instagram. It shows us this date this the ads that are running. It shows us the platform is run like this one is showing us is, that is right only on Facebook, not on Facebook and Instagram. So let's just check this bulletin empire. The details of this page is showing us the page ID. And when we go to the about of the page, it gives us more analysis. Okay, this ad is running on Facebook and on Instagram, and Instagram it has just one follower. So it's like a new page on Instagram. Okay, let's go to Ad Library API. Ad Library API. So for you to access this Ad Library API, you have to go through some processes. Like number one, you will need to confirm your identity and location. You need to create a Meta or developers account. And number three, you need to add a new app to be able to access Ad Library API. So these are a, a whole lot of details so that you need to study to be able to access the Ad Library API. And these are the frequently asked questions. So you can just come here and educate yourself. What about, what information is accessible on the API? You can use the API to access data about ads, social issues, election politics from countries where the Ad Library is live. In which countries is access is accessible in which country is the API accessible or available? 
do I need to access token? Yes, you will need to access token to be able to use the library API. And all of that information you can study on your own. Thank you for watching.